only someone, I believe, connected to the connected to the victim, is going to take the time to stage the scene. And boy, was this staged! And there's no doubt in my mind, guys, this is a tertiary. I mean, a secondary at best crime scene. This is not where Suzanne Morphy was killed. Jump in, Karen Stark. Give me the psychology behind all this staging of the scene. Was brilliant because it's true that somebody who does not know her would never be able to go back, spend that much time. It's such a risk, Nancy. Find the bicycle, then the helmet, go different places. And also, to me, that shallow grave, in addition to the fact that it was hard to dig a grave, but it's the sign of somebody who could care less about what happens with that body in person. It's just let me just get rid of this as quickly as I can and get out of here. And, not and to make sure hearing. that it was actually Suzanne's bike and her helmet that they grabbed. Uh, repeat. Making sure that they got, grabbed the right bike as far as Suzanne's bike and her helmet to hide. And how would they know, right? How many mm -hmm. bikes were there, Lauren Scharf or Tyson Draper? Well, That's a great the, question. Well, let me, I'll just... I want to remind everybody too, Nancy, that this was a Sunday morning. This was this was Mother's Day, so you know Sundays are generally really quiet as well. And the, the population of Maysville, Colorado, was 167 people. So we're not talking about some metropolitan area that has tons and tons of people and tons of crime. This is a very isolated area, so you got to take all that into consideration as well. I mean, it just and it was COVID. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people, of people were out and about either. It was the, the beginning of it. You are both exactly correct. Now, you said it was Sunday morning. How do I know she wasn't killed Saturday night, Tyson Draper? Well, yeah, I'm, right. that, I'm sure she was. I'm, we, we have a window of opportunity there that we've talked about now for years. 